Hello everyone, Final Gamer here, and this time I have someone to help me on this magical adventure around the world. I'm Combat Lobster. And we are going to be joining Donald Duck for probably what was his best adventure yet on the 16-bit era. Quite the cavalcade of characters here. Oh yeah, we got some, we got cast here. Oh hey, we found the treasure, we can all go home. Oh fuck. No. Oh, okay, I guess we got a game then. Welcome to Quackshot. This is a game that not many people know about, but it is one of my absolute favorite games as a kid, and I am going to take you all through it together. So, firstly, just to show there's a very simple option screen, that's all, back in the day when sound test was a thin. Yeah. So we have a very basic plot of how Donald came to be on this adventure. Yeah, sometimes whenever I get bored, I just rummage through my old uncle's stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you did that too? <laughs> yeah, I just, like, I picked up books, looked at them, and, like, found a magical treasure chest, and there was a map inside, and I was like, oh, wow, an adventure. Okay, I'm gonna go on an adventure, I'm just gonna stake this from you. And that's how we ended up with Fear and Loathing in Duck Vegas. <laughs> So, yeah, basically, um, this is a game set in the DuckTales universe, essentially, um, kind of like the Lucky Dime Caper previously, and Pete wants after the treasure, but Donald is just like, nope, I'm gonna go get it myself. He then takes the nephews with him, because why not reckless endangerment, and di completely disses Daisy, just like, fuck you girl, I've got treasure to find. What's that? You want to have dinners with your parents? Well, fuck this shit, I'm out. <laughs> yep. She's just so mad. Also, Pete is Al Capone. I don't know why. I almost want to say that that was an outfit that a character from the one of the Indiana Jones movies had while uh, this exact scene went on. I do remember something like that. So... We have a map, and unlike most platformers at the time, you can actually choose where you want to go. We only have three locations to start with, so let's go to Duckburg, the home ground. Well, we didn't go far. No, we just we just we just drove down the street just so Daisy can't see us. <laughs> oh well, we're both dead. <laughs> so okay, Donald has three commands: he can dash, he can jump, and he can shoot. Also, cannibalism. Well, it's not his kind. I mean, they are aviators, but... Wait. Maybe. I don't know. It doesn't matter. First, I'm going to introduce the tempo mechanic. Something that only gets used like three times in the game. It's like an invincibility if he picks up five chili peppers and he goes apeshit. It's not used as much as you would think, sadly, and that's my only complaint of the game, is that it's a little used mechanic. Oh, well, it's only used three times? Wow. I believe so. Anyways, we can... We can't really kill enemies. Only well we can, but we have very limited ammo for it. But a plunger is a good for stunning and getting past. And this adventurer delightfully tells us that, well, you can't get any further because Duckburg has shitty architectural planning and we don't have a road or anything. No, we just have to go get a, something to climb up buildings with. It, it's to encourage, uh... Healthy living. Everyone has to be very active and climb stuff. Welcome to Mirror's Edge. <laughs> wah, 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 wah. I would love to see a Disney Mirror's Edge to see Donald's white hands flying by in front of him. So, we decided, well, we can't go anywhere in Duckburg further, so let's go to Transylvania, because that's a thing we can do. I kind of like how Pete's entourage incorporates b uh, bats as well. Yeah, it's like it's like King K. Rool, you know, you've got an entourage of creatures. I also wanted to point out the enemies do duck with you, so... And I died. Oh. Yeah, that ledge always screws me up to this day. It's short enough that I don't get a good enough run-up and I slip into the water. Water is, of course, insta-death, because Donald is somehow stupid enough to not remember how to swim from his Navy days. Yeah, I, I, with a guy with a big butt like that, you'd figure he would float. 
Yes. If I had, if I was able to do the Donald voice, I'd be like, you know, my butt can be used as a flotation device. No. Um, you also notice that the enemies drop items, which even respawn if I die, so I've got an extra life back. Also, Ice Cream restores one point of health on our power gauge, which is our health, and a turkey restores all of it, because cannibalism is the tastiest of all. <laughs> we weren't kidding about the Donut Party joke! Um, let's go into this castle and see if we can get any further. Maybe we can do that. Oh. You're not allowed here, fuck off. Spooky. <laughs> Super spooky. We can't go any further and plungers don't even work on that. I also should point out that because we go back and forth with rebels, we essentially make our own checkpoint and just drop a stake here, claim it in the name of Spain, and head off. Speaking of Spain... Man, I, if I if I knew my Spanish well enough, I could I could have probably just made a Mexican joke here, but I forgot. Oh well. So yeah, we've 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 gone to like two levels and done shit all. Donald is the greatest adventurer yet. Well, you gotta find the problem before you can solve them. Exactly. So we can't go climbing up in Duckburg because we can't do parkour. We can't go into Dracula's castle because walls. So. Hmm. We're gonna have to go to Mexico and see what else we can't do. Uh, you know, even if you can't do anything, I'd still go to Mexico. Why not? Mexico's a great place, I guess. Yeah, it's a great I... place where all the cactuses look like humans and they're weird. Yes. These turtles are assholes, because if you get on the same platform as them, they basically just duck into their shells and you have to sort of hide away. Also, Donald can shoot up, which is pretty awesome. It's quite the quack shot. <laughs> Indeed. Oh no. Spent that joke. Well, help you over. I'm just saying fuck that turtle, because damn it. These are traps. But essentially, they run little TNT lines along the ground, but nothing explodes because Pete is kind of inept at explosives. It's not that he's inept, it's, he's a bit of a penny pitcher. He, he couldn't afford the dynamite. <laughs> Turkey. The bigger question is, why is a vulture carrying turkey? Well, yeah, that's another thing I want to ask. You know, why is it carrying a beehive? Well, because bees! Well, he's a bee enthusiast, but uh, he drops oh. his load whenever he sees you. He's just like, oh my god, it's Donald Duck! I have to get an autograph! Oh, fuck my bees! <laughs> Now we're going to see this very, um, pleasant-looking senorita. We can't even go here as well, but she does mention someone went back to Duckburg with the key for this place. Donald even compliments her appropriately. Cause hey, the caballeros, you must know some Spanish. Senorita does not count as knowing Spanish. For Donald, it does! <laughs> we are wasting a lot of playing fuel. I hope they know that. <laughs> It's okay, the, the boys have their ways of stealing. So, now, this guy, thankfully, was the one who had the hero key. Yes! Are you a hero? I'm trying to be close enough, take him. So we can use and look at them as well. We got a bit of a um, slightly point quick feel to this game. It certainly got the flavor text part down. It's the hero key. Yeah! In case you were too stupid to know what that was. It's okay, ma'am. Step aside. I have the hero key. I, I'm trying to be a hero. I'm a certified hero. Please step aside. I, I, I'm, I'm almost a certified hero. Please step aside. She waves her fan. So, welcome to the dungeon. Of the game. Not the only dungeon, but there are several dungeon areas that 
uh, like little platforming puzzles and such. They're pretty fun. I like the dungeon areas a lot. Yeah, they're pretty cool, but uh, one of my favorite parts is about to come up real soon. Ooh. And I think you know what I'm talking about. Oh, I, I hope so. If not, the next video will be definitely for it. And I'm not getting that turkey because um, items don't disappear if they come on say come on screen and come off. They do stay there. And here I'm going to demonstrate a move. I should have demonstrated later on, but I wasn't sure. And I just wanted yes, to yes, yes. The slide. The home plate base slide. Yes! So if that's it doesn't work name. out for being a hero, we can always be a baseball player. Yeah, that's a great name for it, actually. Let's call it that from now on. That's a little too so, long. But whatever. So, close. so the home plate slide, as Combat Law says Chris and Dent, is a pretty awesome move. Because firstly, it's the only way you'll get further through here. You basically have to hold down and press jump to go ahead. And... It's also faster than running, so if you want to get across a place quickly, I recommend it. You can also do it as many times as you want! Yes! It's pretty rad. Donald is fantastic at this. Yes. His, his belly doesn't get chafed from doing that a lot. He's, he's got feathers. And a coat. Yeah, but it's a leather coat. Speaking of that, it's a leather coat. How the hell is he getting traction? I mean, not getting traction on that. Um, feathers, I believe. Oh, so he puts feathers on the outside that nobody can see. Well, the well, he did, probably from the turkey he ate, takes the turkey's feathers and just... <laughs> he just takes the grease off of it and just slathers it on his jacket. <laughs> oh, wow. Um, I don't know what happened there. I somehow fuck up and get caught in here. I'm not sure what happened there. I just panicked. But yeah, but basically what I'm saying is, Donald uses all of the parts of his cousin. <laughs> I have eaten him, now we become one. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, Uncle Gus, you are a part of me now. <laughs> so this jump is kind of annoying. You have to get the right height for these, um, these jade blocks. I'm not sure what they're called. And we're almost to the end! And... Oh hey, a tourist! That's a good question. How did you get here? He's just looking around! I think oh. Goofy is the parkour enthusiast. <laughs> he just goes around to places, he just climbs on shit. Mirror's Goof. <laughs> Mirror's Goof. Hey Donald, I need this package! Throws it across the city. No problem, Donald! <laughs> yeah, I can't oh, do hold that. on, hold on. He's a dog. Can he see red? Because that's going to be a problem at Mirror's Edge. Oh, shit. <laughs> he plays... Oh, no, no. He plays hardcore mode when you don't see the red. Yeah, he, he's a hardcore uh, kind of guy. He just doesn't want anybody to know about it, which is why he, uh, he secretly does it. Pagu. So, we have to actually exit the temple ourselves, you have to go all the way back, but thankfully, the game is kind enough to get rid of some obstacles in the way, like the floating jade blocks, so it's easier. I do like the music in this place though, it's subtle and kind of slightly spooky. Yeah. Mysterious, what could possibly be in here except for flyer? And a tourist. Yeah, tourist. That will never leave. <laughs> Maybe he's on vacation. Well, yeah, he is on vacation. He said he was. Oh, he was. I don't know why these guys are here, though. I mean, how long did they be here? Oh, they're they're the tour guides, and you didn't pay the mission fee. <laughs> and uh, they're pretty pissed at you for doing that. And I just stole their lunch. <laughs> well, and... There's if they keep, if they didn't keep it in the refrigerator, then there's no point in them getting a f really fussed over it. Is that a cold part of the temple? <laughs> the cold part of the temple. Yeah, it's a cold part. It's, it's down at the bottom left. 
So, now we have some things. We have a mysterious note that Goofy gave us, which means nothing to us at the moment. But, um... Hopefully once we go back to, um... Oh, yes, Goofy was mentioning Gyro was looking for us in, uh, Duckburg. And I forgot to mention, we actually found the Red Plunger, stupidly enough. Which we will see what that does next time on Quackshot.